This whole field has been like a giant sandbox for trying different things with cover crops. So this was oats that we put in and then we mowed and we replanted partway through the summer. They're now at the milky oats stage again for the second round, which is pretty fun. Um, this section we planted oats and snap peas together and then we mowed partway through the summer and after the mowing the snap peas really started to take off. They really appreciated the more space and sunshine that they had and they're just doing incredibly well and I'm going to be sad to see them go when that first frost comes which could really be any time but I'm going to enjoy them in the meantime. Then we have another section that was oats grown twice the next section is where we put in blueberries in the spring and we sheet mulched in circles around each one and then the bindweed completely started to take over and was freaking me out but by mowing it frequently somehow we ended up getting clover to establish as the dominant species which i'm super excited about um, it's not native and i would never plant it in the wild but in a highly disturbed setting like this where we normally only have bindweed i'm really excited to see clover this next section we had daikon radish for the second year so it put out seed and then we um, mowed it and allowed the seed to germinate but honestly we had manually terminated that section instead of mowing it and the bindweed is really starting to get a, a hold in there so i'm going to need to change the way we're managing that section and then over here we have fava beans um, planted as a cover crop but they're really starting to want to produce beans and some of them already have so I don't know, I, I didn't have the heart to terminate them. They were so beautiful. That's the trouble with cover cropping. I'm gonna have to be more disciplined with the terminating of the crop next year. Um, and then this section we didn't mow or terminate and I just let it grow. And so it's just gonna be pressed down under the snow and then in the spring, all that vegetation will be functioning as mulch on the soil surface. So those are the techniques we tried this year. Some of our successes were not planned. Some of our failures were not planned. And so I'm really going to be thinking about everything that we learned, how things unfolded um, when we come up with our plan for next year.